Hi guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. I'm really excited to be back making videos for you guys after a short break. Was it only one week? Two weeks? Anyways, I've had a great vacation and I'm really excited to make videos for you guys in 2018. You've given me some great feedback that I'm really excited to work on. Today I want to talk about decluttering because it's 2018, it's January, it's the beginning of the year and I feel like especially after Christmas, so many new things and items and gifts just come into our homes and it can really feel decluttered really fast. Also, I've noticed that a few of my drawers and cupboards, they could really use me going through them. I know that I have some kitchen drawers and especially Max's toys and just the drawers in general in there, in his room, and then behind our bed. We have long-term storage with boxes and stuff. And I know that I haven't gone through that in a while. So there's probably gonna be some stuff there that it's really easy to get rid of that I just don't use anymore and that we don't have the need for because probably maybe something Max has grown out of. You know that I'm a big fan of decluttering every once in a while. So every few months I go through an area and I try to share those with you. Not so we can all become super tidy, organized people, but just so we can encourage each other and remember that it's important to go through our stuff. It's important to know what we have and just to keep the things that we use and not pile up a lot of stuff. So we feel like we need bigger spaces to live in. But even if you're not into downsizing at all, then I would still recommend that you go through some of your stuff. Because in my experience, we have a lot more stuff lying around in general than we actually need. And why not clear up that space to fill it with something that we actually care about or with something that matters? So I'm going to go through the apartment and gather everything up, probably just pile it up on the floor and see how much stuff we actually don't use anymore. This is gonna be fun. I always kind of create this system where I have different piles. So I have one for trash, one for things that are maybe, and one for things that are going in the donation pile, and then a little pile of stuff that I'm going to try to sell. By now I've gone through all of Max's toys and I've gotten rid of quite a lot. I've also gone through the bedroom which had quite a lot of stuff in there behind the bed actually, more than I thought. And I actually ended up finding some skirts that I could use now, which is perfect because my skirts that I have now are kind of worn out so I needed to change them out and was not really feeling like going shopping. So now I have new skirts too. These two drawers right here, they always tend to just fill up. And the other day I noticed that we still have Max's bottles which I have completely forgotten because he stopped using a bottle a few months ago. So it's easy to get rid of this and then I'm just gonna have to go through the rest of it. That felt really good to go through those drawers in the kitchen. They have been haunting me for a while and I just knew that when I hit 2018, I would wanna go through them. So I'm really glad that I did. One little practical tip that I wanna leave you with is that I have this box in Max's room and whenever I declutter, 
anything that's too good to throw out and I really like like small little things I keep them in here so I can give them as gifts for other people who have kids so I just keep these small little items in here and this little onesie I just think it's so cute so whenever the right baby is born for that gift then I'll pass it on and I love that I don't have to throw everything out or donate or sell everything. I can keep some of it and just use it as gifts. I've spent one and a half hour, almost two hours going through all these cupboards and toys and closets and stuff. And it's been really worth it. I've gotten rid of a lot. So now I just have to plan a trip to go to my parents-in-law because they volunteer at a thrift shop and we usually donate everything at that place. Whenever you're decluttering big areas like this, or even small ones, then just try to use the method that I showed you where I section everything out in three piles. So you have a donate, a sell pile, and a toss pile. I also have smaller sub piles for things that I'm going to give to a specific person, things that might need to be returned to a store or to a friend. You don't have to do it this exact way, but just keeping some kind of system might help you not to get too overwhelmed because it's tiring. I've been going at this for one and a half, two hours, and I'm kind of tired now because it's decision making all the time, but it's also a lot of fun. So I'm gonna leave you to it, get cracking at those cupboards and closets, and leave down in the comments below if you usually do any sort of New Year decluttering. That's it for this time, guys. As always, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, share it with your friends, it helps me reach more people, and we'll see you back here next week. Until then, bye, have fun.